Hello, welcome back to Martin's Vinyl. Hello, vinyl community. I've done it. I've brought a record collection. This is something I've been teasing on my channel for many months. I've been wanting to buy and sell records um, within the vinyl community to, to meet, share information and share records uh, with uh, people in the vinyl community, get to meet people, because I am a bit of a recluse. But... um. It's, like I said, it's something I've been wanting to do, and I finally found someone who's willing to let uh, go of their record collection at a uh, decent price. I've, like I said, I've been wanting to do this for a while, purely because um, buying records, as you know, is getting more and more expensive. And uh, this is to fund uh, my addiction, as well as uh, meeting people, so I can buy and sell records, keep the records I want for myself and my collection, and meet people within the vinyl community. That, that's the sole purpose of me doing this. I'm not really in it to make money. Uh, I'm just in this to <laughs> fund my addiction, because as we all know, uh, the price of living is just going crazy, and uh, the price of vinyl is also uh, getting more and more expensive. So yeah, to fund my addiction and to, uh, you know, have a hobby and meet and greet people within the vinyl community. So anyway, but let me tell you about this collection. I've got a few hundred records, I've uh, pulled out the ones that I'm hoping to keep for myself. I'm not going to show you those records. Um, what I normally do on my channel is uh, my record collection circulation videos where I tell you about uh, records in my collection and um, any information that I can share with you. So be sure to like and subscribe about all the records that I've kept for myself uh, from this collection. Anyway, but anyway, the ones I'm going to show you is the ones I'm hoping to move on and uh, fund my uh, my addiction of collection collecting vinyl. So let's do it because I've got uh, a pretty <laughs> a lot to get through. So I'm going to do these pretty quick. So um, strap in, hold tight, and let's do this. All right, oh, here we go. I've got oh, fine, let me tell you about the guy I brought it from. It's a really uh, interesting uh, a guy. The guy was in his eighties. He was telling me that he can't take these records with him when he goes. So he's uh, wanting to pass them on and give them to someone who's going to appreciate them. And I told him I will be uh, selling to people I do uh, respect and collect vinyl within the vinyl community. So, yeah, but he has, um, he's got a great collection. He, he loves his blues, his classic rock. Yeah, he was just a fun guy uh, to talk to. He was there for... Well, I must have been there for about four hours, not just looking through records, just uh, just talking to him and sharing stories. He had loads of memorabilia all over his walls, all the tickets and concerts that you've seen uh, around the world. Yeah, really uh, interesting guy and um, very uh, great life that he's had within uh, music. Anyway, let me show you what I've got. I've got Led Zeppelin 4, Pink Floyd The Wall. All these I'm uh, moving on. I'm not keeping any of these. I've got all oh, that whole bunch of Al Green. One, two, three. I love Al Green. I've also got oh, I've got two copies of Ziggy Stardust. I've also got oh, hidden behind. I've got a couple of Rolling Stones. Oh, I've got. Doors, LA Woman, love this uh, favourite album from the band, The Doors. You know, I've got more Rolling Stones. That's, that was Some Girls. I've got Tracy Chapman. I've got, oh, I've got a whole bunch of uh, Super Tramp. I've got Super Tramp, Crime of the Century, Breakfast in America, and Crisis, what Crisis? Now I've got more Bowie. More, yeah, that's Hunky Dory. I've got Fleetwood Mac. I've got oh, a whole bunch of Fleetwood Mac. I've got Tusk, Mirage, Tango in the Night, uh, the debut Fleetwood Mac, Rumours, classic, Cheap Thrills. Oh, this was a random one from him. This is the only metal one he had, Metallica, Master of Puppets. So that was a random one to pull out. Uh, I've also got... Beach Boys, Sounds of Pets, Def Leppard, and a couple of Dire Straits. I've got a, a big blues pile here that you had. He's a big fan of the blues. Lightning Hopkins, uh, amazing uh, blues guitar player. 
really good. I've got, oh, Lightning Hopkins, Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee. More Lightning Hopkins. Uh, Brownie McGee of Sanitarian with Earl Hooker. That's a great album as well. Taj Mahal. I love Taj Mahal. He's uh, one of my favourite blues guys. Oh, and more Fleetwood Mac. That's uh, a best of uh, Peter Green years. And we've got some BB King comps. Also got John Mayo. I've got John Lee Hooker. More Taj Mahal. Oh, one of the latest uh, Peter Green ones. It was just a tribute uh, record uh, for when he died. Mick Fleetwood and Kurt Hammett and Billy Gimmons all appeared for his tribute once. It's unopened, still sealed. Uh, oh, Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee. And another one, great uh, blues duo. And Dave Brubeck and uh, a jazz album. I, oh god, I'm moving on. Oh, he got. Oh, he had loads of ZZ Top. He's had. He also had multiple pressing of Tres Hombres. Uh, he's got Afterburner, Bandango, Eliminator. Oh, I can never say this one. De Gallo. <laughs> I said that. I butchered that. El Loco, ZZ Top, Rio Grande Mud. He was also a, um, oh goodness, there's too many records. He was also a huge Neil Young fan. Yeah, massive, massive collection of Neil Young. Uh, I've got Stars and Bars, Freedom, Hawks and Doves. Oh, goodness. Neil Young with Crazy Horse. Um, everybody knows There Is Nowhere. Neil Young Trans. Neil Young Time Phase Away. That's a, a great record. Reactor, Landing on Water, oh goodness, Cosby, Stills and Nash, American Dream, oh, Cosby, Stills, Nash and Young, sorry that one, alright, Neil Young and Crazy Horse, uh, Life, Neil Young and Zuma, and we also had a couple of multiple, couple, multiple copies of After the Gold Rush, alright, we're still going guys, we're still going, loads to still get through. Oh, right. Thin Lizzy, Chinatown. Thin Lizzy, Black Rose. Thin Lizzy, I think this is just a comp of uh, Best Of. Thin Lizzy, Live and Dangerous. Uh, for me, this was uh, their best. Uh, Thin Lizzy really captured how good they are. Uh, there we go. We've also got Moody Blues. Sticks. Steely Dan. Oh, a whole bunch of Stevie Wonder. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Boom. More Steely Dan. And the status quo. Alright, you're still rocking, guys. Still rocking. Oh, Steve Winwards. Johnny Guitar Watson. That's really good uh, jazz and... Um, not jazz. Soul and funk. I um, <laughs> love the cover art. Like, I'm not going to say the name of the album uh, because it's a bit rude, but it's just uh, the girls on the floor and the dogs on the sofa. Really good um, soul and funk, that one. Uh, da -da. Van Morrison, more Van Morrison. Oh, Guilty Pleasure Alert, Tina Turner. I love a bit of Tina Turner. Eagles, Hotel California, same again, but with Desperado. The Greats Hits. Cat Stevens, and we've got some George Farragut albums as well. We're still going, guys, still rocking. Stay with me. Ah. We've got Bobby Whitlock, or more Steve Winwood. Ah, Kansas, uh, uh, this is a good uh, prog rock album, Kansas. Um, Mono Lift, that's a good one. Bob Seeger. Is it, everyone loves this album, apart from Bob Seger. He doesn't like it very much. Uh, also got a Best of Traffic. Oh, Asia. Wizards Brew. I know uh, Wizards Brew is from the band Wizard. Yeah, you know, from um, I Wish It Could Be Christmas Every Day. The album itself is a, it's a bit of a mixed bag. It's a really, uh, the songs are either really good or they're just plain weird. All right, still rocking. Joe Walsh, There Goes the Neighbourhood, 
Oh, some Tom Petty. What's we got? A load of Bruce Springsteen. Da -da -da. There we go. We've got Bob Dylan, oh, Bob Dylan, Bob Dylan, oh, we've got multiple. We've got Bob Dylan, Bob Dylan, Bob Dylan, oh, Bob Dylan. All right, last, last pile. Oh, all right, and we've got, yeah, Blues Brothers, Chuck Berry, oh, Soundtrack, 2001. Handle with Care. This is a good compilation of um, bands from the Island label. It's got uh, Freedom and Steppenwolf and James Gang, Free Dogs Night and BB uh, King. All when they were with the um, the Probe label. Sorry, not Island label. There we go. I want some um, oh great oh. blues compilations. One, two, three, four, five. All telling about the story of the blues. Right, yeah. Well, that was like three quarters of it. Oh, I still got uh, a few to get through. But um, like I said, very, very happy. Very excited to, to have this. Now I've got the great job of going through it all and pricing it all up, making sure I make a profit. And um, like I said, please remember to like and subscribe because uh, my next video will be my record collection circulation. And I'll tell you about all the records that I kept from this uh collection so please like and subscribe and I'll speak to you all soon thank you very much bye